Here's a quick video. I'm just feeding all the fish this morning. Figured I'd bring you guys an update because I haven't really done many this week. They're already going nuts. There we go. Now we've got a few new fish in here. There's a uh, big sail fin molly, and he is somewhere just over here. There we go. And we picked up about 40 or 50 new fish from one of our friends called Dion. It's looking pretty, pretty active and cool now though. Like, I don't think I've ever had this many, uh, well, indoor guppies inside of a, a tank. Excuse the glass as well, it's a little bit dirty. Anyway, off to the next one. And uh, this is our eight foot grow out tank. It's not actually the nicest tank, um, but it does have some of our larger fish that don't get along with anyone else. So, in a moment, I'm gonna go get their food and give them a feed, and uh, give you guys another video. And uh, this is our new six foot yabby tank. A little bit dirty just because of the rain, and I've wiped it down with a towel and didn't work. But we have a lot of babies in here. There, a lot of them are hiding in the sump down under here. But we've got some nice big gabbies. I've, I've actually been watching them quite often. They're fighting quite a bit. Although these two over here seem to be making friends. Anyway, on to the next tank. And this is our Red Jewel colony. They're coming along quite nicely. They've uh, been rearranging the tank a little bit. Let's move this chair out of the way. So I'm just trying to figure out, I think I've got about 12 or 13 fish tanks. I won't show you all of them. Some of them are breeding tanks and just ornamental private tanks. But these are the guys that I um, sell to the public, so might as well put it on YouTube. Anyway, off to feed the peacock bass. And this is the peacock bass. They're coming along nicely. It's a little hard to get a shot of these guys just purely because of the glare. This is an outdoor uh, 15 foot, 10,000 litre aquarium. And actually at the moment we're having a problem with our air pump. So I've got to fix that up today. Anyway, put some food in. guys on to the next so guys this is my favorite tank out of all of them it is the electric yellow and Malawi eye biters now we've only got five left unfortunately uh, one of the fish appeared to got to be eaten <laughs> another fish I found floating face up uh, or belly up rather and I'm just beginning to believe that these uh, fish that I bought, the Malawi eye biters, probably weren't the best quality. Because out of all the fish that I've uh, picked up in the last few months, none have died except for um, these guys, really. I mean, I've had some guppies die, but that's pretty normal. They're looking really beautiful as well. You can see the colors and the fins. I've actually got some... Um, different jeans in there there's, there's a, a high yellow electric yellow and then you've got the standard ones with the uh, black fins and I think you can see the guy who's kind of pottering around the middle of the shot there with his almost bar like appearance on the side of his body uh, he's he's one of our males yeah so I've got to change the water a lot in these tanks um, obviously they're heavily stocked, so uh, all up we've got about 40 fish in here, maybe more. There's clown loaches, um, they're hiding, there's some bristle nose in there. 
And uh, basically what I do to maintain these guys is I've got a aqua lunch. That's the food I grow them up on. I then use uh, two or three different foods, one of them being the Hikari African pellets. Um, and then I've got a different version of aqua munch as well. So it doesn't take a lot to look after these guys. Um, just some water changes, regular feeding as they're babies and yeah, just watching them really. I mean, at night time I turn off the turbines uh, just cause one of the fish got sucked into one of them one night. But other than that, everything else has been going good. So I've got uh, three more tanks I'm gonna show you. Bear with me. Now this tank was, or um, well the fish in this tank were gifted to me from a friend. Uh, it's kind of my little dirty plant tank that I grow out some of my mosses in and um, my other plants. These guys are pretty vicious though. I wouldn't put them with uh, guppies, platies or mollies. I saw them rip a few of mine apart. So yeah, interesting fish though. And this is just a little uh, 15 liter aquarium. All right, next. And uh, this is one of my shrimp tanks. I don't know if you can see, there's one at the top there. These are green jade shrimps. Now, uh, I've got to do a lot of culling. I've been speaking to the breeder um, and he suggests that basically I pull out a lot of the males, get rid of them and start the breeding again, just to bring those green genes um, back, like a bit more solid. Zoom in on this fella up here. So they're hard to see because they're green, <laughs> but that's one of my other tanks. And then we've got this tank, which is overrun with moss that has very pretty little shrimp in them. Uh, we're going to be trying a peroxide solution of 3% and 1 mil for every litre. And it's hopefully going to be getting rid of all of this moss for me, or algae. It's called string algae. But aside from the horrible tank, these are actually my favourite. Hang on one second. They're beautiful coloured shrimp. I was very lucky to be gifted these from a friend. Uh, they overtook my other ones. I had some orange sun-kissed shrimp. There's a low grade right there. But overall, I think I find shrimp to be the most fun to keep. They don't really kill each other that much. They breed a lot and they're very pretty. All right, guys. Sorry for all the terrible camera footage uh, and shakiness. I'll get better at this. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll speak to you next time.